All right, so you're a little bit worried about how to keep the rabbits warm during the winter time. I'm gonna show you what you need to do about that today and put your mind at ease, so stick around. Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Redneck video. Again, my name is Chris, and uh, I don't know, it's December the 9th here in Southwest Missouri, and uh, the weather forecast says it's 12 degrees out today. I think it's uh, probably wrong. I think it's probably closer to like 15. Either way, it's cold outside, very, very cold. And if you're like me, when I was a first time rabbit keeper, I was just concerned as could be about what do I do to keep the rabbits warm? So that's what we're gonna talk about in today's video. Everything you need to do to ensure your rabbits don't freeze to death. And it's actually pretty easy. First thing um, you might notice is, we're looking at my rabbit barn, you can't really see it here, but I've got these tarps pulled down in front of it, and they're pulled in at an angle, and I'll take you over where you can see them from a different angle. This is just a wind block to keep the wind off of them. That's the biggest thing you need to worry about in the winter, is keeping the wind off of them. So they're covered on the sides of the shed, and they've got a wind block in the front of the shed, and that pretty much um, keeps all the wind off of them, it's not a big concern. Let me take you around to the side here. We'll show you what it looks like from uh, from the side view, and then we'll get into the uh, rabbit cages, and we'll talk about what we need to do inside there. All right, so this is my rabbit shed. You can see kind of the cages are lined up right along there, and I've just got these tarps pulled out at an angle right there. That's really all it needs. Just uh, just provide them with a wind block and keep the wind off of them. Um, the, the side walls are, are tarps as well and they're pulled all the way down to the ground so that kind of keeps the, uh, the the updrafts from coming up and of course when we get inside there you'll see you can probably see them right there I've got tarps right there underneath the uh, the rabbit cages to catch the droppings and that keeps the drafts from coming up through the bottom of the cage so for the most part this is a, a windproof shelter it's not airtight it doesn't need to be 100 percent airtight just block the wind that's all they really need all right so like I said it's freezing cold out here today but uh, you can see I don't really put anything in the cages. And you gotta think about it this way. Um, you know, what do we do to stay warm? We put on a big coat. Now, before we had these synthetic materials, what did we use? We used fur. And what is one of the warmest furs you can get? rabbit fur. Not the warmest, but one of the warmest, and it was widely used because it's easy to come by. It can imitate just about any kind of fur. So if you want to keep your rabbits warm, you put a rabbit fur coat on them. Thank goodness God created them that way already. They have their own fur coat. So really when it comes down to it, not much to worry about about keeping your rabbits warm. They are well equipped to deal with the cold and they actually do much, much better in this cold than they do in 90 and 100 degree heat in the summertime. That's a bigger concern for them. Now the biggest concerns are watering your rabbits. Um, so in the winter time, if you're using bottles or an automatic water system, you can see I've got that all taken off the cage right now. Even if you heat that water, um, the, the nipples on those, the valves on those, freeze almost instantaneously, so they're no good. Um, what I switched to is Crocs, and let me get one out, I'll show you. I'm using ceramic Crocs right now, but I think I'm going to switch over to some uh, rubber Crocs. It doesn't really matter. Either one, the rabbits aren't going to chew this up. Um, and you can see it's full of ice right now from the water from the night before. But um, all I'm going to do is just uh, go run this under some warm water, knock the ice out of it, and I'll fill it up about halfway this morning. And that rabbit will go right to that water, drink the water, and I'll show you what that looks like here in a minute. Drink as much water as she can drink, and then she's fine for the rest of the day. When I come home in the evening time from work, I'll go ahead and pour more water in there, fill it up about three quarters of the way. She'll drink as much water as she can drink before um, it freezes, and she'll be fine for the rest of the night. And then the next morning, I just do it all over again. They don't need constant access to water. And if you think about a rabbit in the wild, it's not like they're carrying a water bottle around with them. They get, they get drinks whenever it's available to them. They drink as much as they can, and that holds them over and your domestic rabbits do the same thing. Okay, at this point you may be thinking to yourself, well that's all fine and good. I'm sure that the adults can take care of themselves just fine in the winter time, but what about the babies? What do I need to do to the babies? Do I need to bring them in? Now keep in mind, 12 degrees outside this morning, incredibly cold here in southwest Missouri, and I've got a nest full of babies that are about, oh just about a week old, and uh, let's take a look at them real quick. Now you can see, of course, the mother pulled plenty of hair. She's got lots of fur around them, and uh, they're all covered up with straw. So if I open this up a little bit, look at that. Look at that. All these little baby rabbits, all doing just fine. Got some really cuties right here. Pull them out real quick. I'm not going to keep them out very long because, uh, you know, it is cold outside. But the thing you're going to notice here is these guys are doing just fine, covered up with all that fur underneath that and in this nest box. There's really nothing to be concerned about. Neighbor saying hi to me real quick. All right, normally I'd uh, babble on for a little while, but good grief, it's cold out here, too cold for me to stand around out here. So hopefully that puts your mind at ease a little bit. Again, just to run this down, the things that you need to do to make sure your rabbit's taken care of for the winter. Provide a wind block for them and 
Make sure that you uh, switch out their water to dishes, fill that up twice a day, and they're going to be just fine. Now, you can add all kinds of straw to the cage. People do that. They stuff the cages with straw, but in my experience, that the rabbits don't really use that. You could put nest boxes in there or big boxes full of straw for them to get in. But again, in my experience, even when it's down to 12 degrees, zero degrees outside, they don't even use it. They might play with it. They might get in and use it as a litter box, but they don't snuggle up inside of it and, uh, and, and keep themselves warm. Um, you may have a different experience with that, and there's nothing wrong with putting all that in there. But for me, it's an extra expense and it, it's an extra mess because what they end up doing is they just throw the straw all over the place and it ends up just falling through the cage. They don't really use it. And that's, again, my experience. Again, nothing wrong. Throw all the straw in there you want to if it makes you feel better. It's not going to hurt them at all. They might actually enjoy it, but it's not really all that necessary. So, hopefully you got something out of this video. It put your mind at ease a little bit. I'm going to wrap this up, go uh, get my rabbits fed and watered, and I'm going to go back inside where I can warm up just a little bit. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, God bless.